Hi guys, this is the iPod Touch Boy, and this is my first video that I'm about to put on YouTube. And uh, pretty much, I'm a 13 year old boy, and uh, just got an iPod Touch for Christmas. So I'm having tons of fun with it, and I'm out here to share my fun and share my applications with you and all my little tricks. So this is my first video, and I'll show you one quick little, um, almost little trick that I found that's really helpful for me because I'm big onto like email accounts and uh, I have tons of different emails so uh, let's uh, click my home screen here sorry this is my first app uh, app review here and that's gonna take some time to get used to I'm at a really bad angle and uh, as you can see I have all my applications of about six pages worth and um, I found one of the greatest things you can do is convert a uh, you can convert a uh, website into an application so take for instance Gmail. Uh, I have a Gmail account. So while that gets up, uh, sorry, I just had to go close the door. But um, anyway, I have a Gmail account, and uh, I found this application really helpful because it's not an application that you buy from the App Store. But once you get onto uh, any type of website, if you come down here to the bottom, and if you can see this little plus sign, I'm about to touch it. It says add bookmark, add to home screen, and mail link to this page. Okay? So normally you might want to bookmark the website if you like it. But I click add to home screen. And then right here you can type in whatever you want it to say. And then you'd click add up here in the top right corner. But uh, since I already have it, I'm just going to press cancel. And uh, I'll search in any website. I'll search Google. Sorry, it's hard to type from this this angle okay so I'll click on the plus side add to home screen Google add and it just created the application and it doesn't even have to take any time to download so that's probably one of the greatest tricks I found and probably the second greatest trick I found is that you can take on-screen pictures using an iPod touch this is an 8 gigabyte second generation iPod touch and if you click the lock button which is in the top left corner for an iPod touch and the home screen button, which is the circle button, together at the same time, it'll in a sense take a picture of whatever you're at. So I'll go ahead and try it right now. See that little flash? That was taking the picture. And then if I go to my photos, and you can see it right there, but uh, I'll click on my photos, and there it is. I took a picture of my screen, and I can do whatever I want with it. So uh, thank you for watching my first video. I'll try to have many more, and please subscribe, and I need as many views as I can, so please tell this to all your friends. Uh, thank you. Bye.